What is up, Spurs Nation? You're watching another episode of Drive Through Spurs Takes with your boy Rob from fucking Spurs.com. I'm here leaving work. I pull out nice and gently. I don't want to run over no kids, you know what I'm saying? Might catch a case. So the inner city squad scrimmage has taken place. It happened yesterday. I was not there, unfortunately. Like most of y'all, I was streaming it on Facebook Live, and you know what? It was there was a lot to take away from that game, and and in that game, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of go randomly off the top of the head. I expected to see our young guys play a little bit more, like our rookies and 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 you know, like our second year players, like Chemezi and Lonnie and drew and and those guys but nah i mean like straight up like i to it seemed like a, a real scrimmage practice type scrimmage like at least minutes wise it was pretty much the starting group the group that's been sp- uh, starting the whole time against our, our our bench guys and Derek white was on the bench team so i mean that's kind of what we got uh we came out firing. Dejounte hit a couple threes. Bryn again. Oh my God, hit a couple threes. Hopefully this that stays. Hopefully Bryn keeps this pace throughout most of the season. Of course he's gonna have his up and downs, but you know it's 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 good to see him go. Uh, Lamarcus again hit. He was two for three in the first quarter from the three point line. So maybe we he shoots a few more threes i don't know i mean that's that's something he's shown us a little bit throughout the preseason so you know he's been working on it if he wasn't working on it at all and if he was just if he was just trying to pull this over our head like hey hey, y'all think i'm gonna shoot threes because i'm doing it in the preseason but i'm not gonna do it in the regular season i don't think that's what this is i think i think he's just testing it i was like yeah i can i can hit it and you know what we we might ask him to i mean like i said like he only needs to shoot three or four maybe five threes a game that's it i mean like maybe one or two in in the first half one or two in the second half just to keep the defense honest and it's gonna it it would help his game out too he's gonna be able to do more things off the dribble from from the wing or get to his spots and 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 you know pump fake catch guys in the air instead of pump faking and guys just like waiting for him back in the paint um he can still keep the defense honest so that looked good so we were shooting lights out last night from the three-point line. Actually, everyone was shooting good. Luca hit a couple threes. Um, he went two for two, and then I think he missed one later on in the quarter. He really none of the rookies really played into the second half, which, which is just weird, man. I don't know. It's just I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on with these rookies, man. Other than. Quindary looks solid, man, and uh, that's something that we kind of expected out of him because he's a four-year college player. He's a little bit older than everyone else. He he can play, and you know, Keldon didn't didn't do anything last night. But to to be fair, it's like he there wasn't really any opportunity for him to really do anything last night. Like they didn't get they didn't play a lot. Like I said, and two, like when they were on the court, he didn't really find himself in a position to be effective on the offensive end. And he didn't force anything. And, um, you know, uh, Luca hit a couple threes, man. It looked good. Bam, just nothing but the bottom of the net, too. So, I mean, at Luca at a small forward position, if he can stroke it like that, he didn't look all that great on the defensive end. He got burned a few times by Trey Lyles. Now, that's a guy who looked good. Trey Lyles didn't look to score, I don't think, once. But what he did when he was out there, to me, is what stood out. And when he, when he played... We finally got to see him play, right? Because he hadn't played at all. At all, it seemed that as they said it in the broadcast that he had like a respiratory infection or something like that uh, that kept him out of the first few preseason games. But he looks ready to go, and and I'm telling you, man, he seems like a prototypical Spurs four four big. You know, like like a guy who's a good passer who looks to set up people first, who can uh, who can make the right play, who's a playmaker at that position, and he can do it all. I mean, like, I'm not saying he's like a like he's the best player ever, but he can do it all fundamentally. Like, he has a, a jumper. He he can really move the ball. He can pick and pop. He's, a, I mean, to me, it's like the way when I see him set screens and then, you know, whatever he does after that, or if it's a roll to the basket or or a pop out to an open three, he looks really good doing it. Last night, last night he did, and he looked fluid, man. He would catch that ball and just go and like boom, hand it off to someone else or 
or um, swing it or, you know, hit a little high-low game, you know. So he – Trey Lyles is the one I think that we're sleeping on. He's going to be able to help us out a lot. And uh, and let's see how well he plays with with Chemezi and LaMarcus and Drew. Uh, not Drew. Uh, oh, yeah, and Drew too, but uh, Jakob. And see where he can actually – help out because i see him playing that four spot for us you know so he looked good Demar carroll looked all right lonnie just kind of did his thing here and there uh lonnie's another one of those guys i mean that it's gonna have to show that that he he deserves minutes i mean we all know what he's capable of and i think that's his mindset he's like you know i gotta prove that i that i'm gonna get these minutes and and that he's ready and so we'll see i mean i i saw more out of lonnie in the first two games then I saw out of him last night in the open scrimmage, but it was just the open scrimmage, you know. It's nothing to be too excited about or or to look too deep into, you know. The guys weren't playing too hard on the defensive end. Um, but, I mean, it's something that we can talk about. A lot of fun. If you go to Facebook.com uh, and the Spurs Facebook, you might catch. I think you can still watch it. I don't know. Um, but it was a lot of fun to watch him. I was watching them while I was watching the Astros. That's that's what I was doing last night. So it was, it was good to see the Spurs out there, and it was good for the city of San Antonio. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Make sure to like and leave comments and, and you know share this video and all that stuff. Uh, go to buckingspurs.com. Uh, the shop is open. You can find some cool, some cool stuff there, uh, along with all my other content at buckingspurs.com. Appreciate y'all. The season's about to go. We got New Orleans coming up on Sunday. That's going to be a lot of fun. Let's just get it, guys. Go Spurs, go.